Alrighty guys, we are officially embarking on the first solo road trip of the summer. So we'll see how this goes. I uh, head down to University of Oregon today and then tomorrow I'm headed to Bend to go backpacking. It's supposed to be really chilly. We'll see how it is. I think I'm gonna get a lot of snow. So see you guys soon. Just had my first weenie rolled hot dog from 7-Eleven. A quarter pound big bite. Absolutely phenomenal. I'd probably give it a good old, mm, I'd say seven out of 10. Pretty, pretty dang good. Overall, pretty solid. Currently downing some fruit snacks. Just finished up at U of O. Got myself that glizzy at 7-Eleven. Some taquitos and a blizzard at Dairy Queen. Now it's time to head to the campsite for the night. Hopefully, it's not too cold and not too snowy there, but we'll see. guys we officially set up camp we are currently i don't know what oh, the time's not there because i'm recording a video i think it's like nine o'clock um probably just gonna pass out like i don't know within the half hour read my book maybe over there second life of tiger woods kind of a banger i'm on, I'm on page 50 we'll see how far i get but yeah feel pretty good pretty tired but we're ready for a good day tomorrow I think this is probably the most unique campsite I've ever been to. It's sort of just like embedded in a lava field, or at least I think I was told it was a lava field. So you see all these big old rocks out here, some big old igneous rocks. It made it like a very dry place, thankfully. I mean, not the fact that it rained last night, but thankfully we ended up dry. We're doing pretty good. Gonna pack up the tent, gonna head to the next hike. So we'll see you then. officially getting started on the backpacking that is currently what we're going up against so we'll see how it goes over here kind of looks like the Lorax everything's sort of taken down it's like when they took all the little puff balls off the top of the trees pretty fancy pretty fancy so hopefully I don't die if I do feel like I'm gonna die I'm probably just gonna turn around and sleep with the car tonight so hopefully it doesn't come to that but who knows see you guys Okay, so the visibility isn't great and it just so happens to be starting to snow, which is pretty sick, but this is gonna be an interesting night. I just met some lady on the trail who was carrying a massive log over her shoulders for her free roaming bearded dragon, which is kind of sick. She said it might snow three to five inches overnight. So this, this could be pretty interesting. Yeah, so the snow kicked in. Very much doubting if I should continue on. I'm gonna go for a bit more, at least to continue this as a day hike. But the whole camp at the lake thing, yeah, that idea might go in the shitter. Snow is in fact getting worse, so 
we officially put the waterproof like cover on the bag rain jacket is now on it's a matter of time before i turn around at this point we aren't sleeping overnight <laughs> Feels like as the sun went down, I'm with Dutch and Arthur. Burning, gotta kill them. Gotta kill them damn old Driscolls. I'm headed for a land that's far away, beside the crystal fountain. So come with me, we'll go and see the big rock candy mountains. In the big rock candy mountains, there's a land that's fair and bright, where the handouts grow. I have learned that weather on mountains is extremely temperamental. It's like, now it's sunny and just absolutely gorgeous outside. When before, it was snowy, it felt like I was going to die out here. I, I have no idea what's going on. And the bulldogs all have rubber teeth and the hens lay soft boiled eggs. The farmer's trees are full of fruit and the barns are full of hay. Oh, I'm bound to go where there ain't no snow, where the rain don't fall, the wind don't blow in the big rock candy mountains. In the big rock candy mountains, you never change your socks and the little streams of alcohol come a trickling down the rocks. The brakemen have to tip their hats and the railroad bulls are blind. There's a lake of stew and a whiskey too. You can paddle all around them in a big canoe in the big rock candy mountains. In the big rock candy mountains, the jails are made of tin. And you can walk right out again as soon as you are in. Considering this is what I'm seeing right now, and this is all the trail I got, I think this means that it's time for me to turn around. I don't have spikes for my boots. I don't have little snowshoes for my, or I don't have snowshoes in general or the little booty things for my trekking poles. So I'm just slip sliding all over the place. You know what? We got some pretty cool views along the way. If it would focus. We got some pretty cool views along the way, but I think my time for the day, uh, it's, it's time for me to turn around. successfully finished the hike, but my back is absolutely killing me. I just want to go home, but we can't do that quite yet. Time to find a spot to camp for the night, I guess. So I think I'm going to start heading in the direction of home, but I don't really know. We're going to find that out. We've officially set up camp, found a little pull off on the side of the road, cooking on the back of the dirty bitch. Tent spot for the night. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. It's pretty chilly though. I'm kind of cold, but we're gonna sit up, sit down, read some of my book, have some dinner. Have a great night. Good morning for day three of our little mini road trip. Um, I just got some great sleep, which was awesome. It didn't rain at all. Um, the dirt was very dry, so it made packing up a little bit of a mess. But I guess I'll just clean that up when I get back. Made probably the worst coffee of my life. This is horrendous. Never get the great value Walmart instant coffee. It's absolutely terrible. I'm just using it to warm my hands at this point because like in the mid thirties, but we're going to go do a hike and we'll see how it is. I literally just turned the corner and all of a sudden we are entering winter wonderland. Elevation's crazy, man. This hike is also killing me. I started off in a jacket, a sweatshirt and a long sleeve. I'm all the way down to the long sleeve, and odds are I'm gonna go shirtless by the end, but who knows at this point with the snow. 
we currently got the feels of Christmas in July, except it's June. It is pretty sick out here. I'm loving it. It's like 32 degrees, but I think the real feels like in the low 20s. Who cares? We're having a great time. We're getting above the tree line, at least a little bit. So, see you guys at the top. We are currently on our way back. Basically what happened is I got up there, it was really, really cold and super windy. And the view, as you can see, is not much of a view. It cleared up for like half a second when I was talking to some other hikers. So I didn't quite get a video of it, but or any pictures for that matter. But overall, it was pretty cool. Very, very cold up here. I think the best views were on the way up. So I'll show you those pictures in a bit. But absolutely, it's, it's a pretty good hike. Now it's a long way down, or not really that long, it's only like two miles, but it's all downhill, thank God. I was freaking out on the way up, not freaking out, but my legs were shot. So yeah, we'll see you in a few. All right, I just saw a sign that said, welcome to Detroit. This is not Detroit. Like, it's, it's just not. It could be worse though, at least we're not Detroit. We're, we're not, not Detroit. Detroit. Nah, but like, it actually is Detroit. We're, we're not, not Detroit. Detroit.